My distinguished colleagues of the 10th Reversed House of Assembly, I welcome you to today's sitting, the 182nd Legislative Sitting Day. Today, the Wednesday, the 8th day of May 2024. Recall that the former Speaker, Right Honorable Edison Ogreye Ehie, Esquire, DSSRS, PhD, after successfully pioneering the affairs of the House and also duly recognized as the authentic speaker by an order of the River State High Court, given under the hand of Justice Danagogo and on the 12th day of December 2023, tendered his resignation on the 29th December 2023. I want to thank you, distinguished honorable members, for electing me as the new speaker, pursuant to the resignation of Right Honorable Edison Ogrenye Ehi, DSSRS, PhD. And in line with Section 92, Sub 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, you will agree with me that after the House last sat on 13th of December 2023, an adjourned synodite there has been an avalanche of legislative rascality perpetrated by the 25 former members of the 10th River State House of Assembly, led by the former Speaker, Right Honorable Martins Chike Amewule. These former members being fully aware of the provision of Section 1091 Sub G of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, defected from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the All Progressive Party, APC, and on 11th of December, 2023, consequently, the Right Honorable Edison Ogreen Ehi, on the 13th of December, 2023, wrote to the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, declaring the seats of the 25 lawmakers vacant in line with Section 1091G, and two of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999. Further, my distinguished colleagues, there are plutorials of cases pending in our courts, further to the defection of the former lawmakers. All laws, plenary sections, and actions taken by the illegal house are hereby declared void and a nullity in the eyes of the law by virtue of the judgment of Lordaining in the celebrated case of McFoy versus UAC, 1961. Lord Denning held in that case that you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. Particularly, Lord Denning stated, if an act is void, then it is in law a nullity. It is not only bad, but incurably bad. There is no need for an order of courts to set it aside, it automatically null and void without more ado, though it is sometimes more convenient to have the court declare it to be so, and every proceeding which is founded on. It is also bad and incurably bad. You cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stay there. It will collapse. The executive arm, the judiciary, and the general public are hereby called upon to disregard every purported laws enacted by the illegal assembly as they all amount to nothing and they are exercised in futility. Furthermore, this House will want to most respectfully urge and call on His Excellency, the Governor of River State, Sir Similalai Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State, to desist forthwith from further dealings with the 25 lawmakers in whatever guise. 
Those members are merely floating and do not have any landing ground or anywhere to bat their ship since their defection to the All Progressive Congress on the 11th day of December 2023. This house is the legal and constitutionally recognized house by virtue of the defection and is ready to receive correspondence from and work with His Excellency. Distinguished colleagues, let me thank you once again. I know I can count on your unalloyed and unwavering support as we work with His Excellency Sir Simlara Efubara in moving our dear river state in promoting the progress and welfare of our dear states. Well, uh, by God's grace, as the new speaker, I have one constitutional responsibility, and it is to work for the growth and development of reverse people and our dear state. Well, we have adjourned to uh, another legislative day. We will brief the press. Our, we will communicate our proceedings to the public and engage them. We would make sure that they are part of what we are doing to ensure that there is transparency and clarity in the Tenth Legislative Assembly. Well, I have um, already directed the clerk to notify His Excellency the Governor that a new leadership has emerged in the River State House of Assembly and that we are ready to work for Rivers people. We've heard our speaker as well, very much in line with whatever that we want to achieve in this uh, administration, which is Excellency. But away from that, we want to further one that uh, if His Excellency ever have any dealing with those former members that we, the Tenth Assembly, the original members of the Tenth Assembly, who by the special grace of God, by constitutional powers, we form the right quorum to seize and to, uh, to address the business of the day. We want to tell His Excellency that should he, in any reason, go about do, doing any business or dealings with those former members who have no choice than to, to raise our hammers. And you all know what it means, that to commence a, an impeachment proceedings against him.